Hello guys, it's Lee. So today what I'm working on is, well this is my Craftsman mower right here, but what I'm doing is I actually got some wheel spacers and these are actually made to put dualies on a mower, on a garden tractor, uh, 12 inch wheels. And I've always used different things in the past. And when I was at the garden tractor show, um, Evansville, Indiana, I got them at the flea market. Now I'm a little concerned that they're a little narrow. Well, this is them right here. And I've only seen two sets of these, it's, you know, that size, and then some a little bit thicker, a little bit wider. Now, I don't know what the width is, but these are the more narrow ones. And I got four of them, you know, so I can do, you know, two sets of dualies, I guess. But, um, and with this, I got, I got those lag bolts there. Well, no, that's carriage bolts, right? So my concern is when I put that on, the uh, tractor that the tires are thick enough where they'll touch and this won't work well on these anyway you could use a skinnier tire and it'd work but you know, it's basically that's what you got and then other see because i'm afraid no more than what that is the other tire is going to overlap and the tires are going to be pushing on each other before that catches so i don't know um now what i am going to do is i'm actually going to take these off and let these be on the outside because i like the white on here and the other wheels i have to put on these right here so i'm going to put these on these are just been sitting here going bad so i'm going to put those on first and then the white ones be on the outside because i like that look better it's not a whole lot of work to change them so so that's what it's going to look like right there. There's not a whole lot to it. I, should, I wish I had the thicker ones. Maybe that's why they were for sale at the <laughs> flea market. But anyway, I'm going to put the gray ones on. Then I'm going to put the white ones on the outside. Because I, like I say, I like the look of that better. And we'll just see if that's wide enough to work. So let's get the tape measure out and see how wide this actually is. It's really right under two inches. Inch and three eighths maybe. All right, basically that's not gonna work because, you know, that one's the one that would go on the tractor. And I've already tested it, but I uh, put that on top. And if you reach your hand down in here, there's play in between them. So the tires are too thick, so evidently I needed the thicker ones for these. Okay, so we're going to option two. Option two is this right here. So these are the 612 wheels. And I did a video on this, but how to put dualies on here. Well, all I had at the time was wheel weights and that's what I use. So you can go back and see how I use wheel weights and you'll see it as I take them off. But these little circles probably are designed for these more narrow wheels. I mean, there's not a whole lot of tire there. So, um, and plus I can use the wheel weights there it is for that one with the big fat tires. I know they'll work on that. And look at this gap. So I never was really happy with this in the very beginning because there's not a whole lot of tires. So there's a big gap right there. That's the wheel weight and that's the gap between the tires. And that's pretty large, um, larger than I wanted. I got used to it. But now we're going back to this. So now we're going to take this wheel off, take the wheel weight off and see if it won't work that way. Thank you. 
so I've never done the ring before. Can't be too difficult, but uh, probably gonna struggle with it. But we'll see what happens. Obviously that goes there. It's hard to get these lined up. Let's see, it goes very tight. This one's very tight. Get this top one at 12 o'clock. So the gap, probably a little bit less, not a whole lot, but that's about right. I mean, so you could probably have a little bit bigger tire and well, the wheel's 12 inches, but you could have a little bit wider probably and still use that. But this is perfect for that. I think I got it nice and rounded in there. Um, I got my wheel, see, because I didn't really need heavy wheel weights on this. I'm not, you know, I'm hauling stuff around, but it's not heavy stuff. This is more of a show tractor than heavy pulling. So I hadn't done this out of course yet. So that's what that looks like with wheel weight. You know, these plastic wheel weights aren't the best, okay? They, you know, they there's concrete in there and it will crack and give and all that eventually. So, it, you know, the steel wheel weights are better. Um, than this but that's just what i had and i've had them on there for years and it's always worked out good so these are big fat tires right here atv tires and you can't even hardly see in between them but yet they work fine i mean this works actually real good um i've had these on here well on and off for years um Probably need to go through and check the air pressure on my tires now to look at it. But here's the other side and, you know, there's no gap. Well, I mean, you can put your fingers in there and touch. So this is actually perfect for this. This is probably equivalent to those wider wheel spaces, spacers that they, you know, make. And like I say, I didn't pay full price for them. I got them at, a, at the uh, Lawn and Garden Show in Evansville, Indiana. And I got them for a good deal at the vendors, you know, at the uh, flea market. Anyway, so that's uh, wheel weights. See the Craftsman wheel weights inside there. Because, so. you know, sometimes extra weight on the back of the tractor is good if you're pulling things. But I'm not doing anything like that with this uh, particular garden tractor. So it really works out nice. Like I say, this is more of a right around the yard show tractor for me. So there's that one. You know, I guess I'll put you on time lapse and let you, I'll show you the other one while I'm doing it. more wheel weights there and there i can put them on there now just so you'll know that was an inch and three quarter the spacer so if you got the big wide tires get the bigger spacer now if you got these 612s you get that one because you don't want it any wider than that and i don't know what the other size is you just have to look and find something bigger than an inch and three quarters and i'm sure i think there's only two sizes uh, but anyway it could be more 
But anyway, so, so that's what I got going on there today. I, had, I might put you on time lapse and go ahead and stick on uh, the dualies on that while I'm at it and got everything out. So, might as well hey, if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to Murphy Mower. So just a little tip, I mean, if you're just putting wheel weights on, this really don't matter that much. But when you're putting another wheel on, you got to make sure all these studs sticking out are exactly straight. So in other words, a good way to tell that bow stem is centered up exactly in the middle. And then you can just kind of stand over it and make them all a little bit loose where you can shift it back and forth and have everyone straight because if they're not they're not going to go in here easily uh, easily so um because you know if you can imagine if that um wheel weight is turned just a little bit then all the all the studs are going to be you know turned too so i'm not 100 percent convinced that it's straight yet but i'm just going to be aware of it so this will slide on easier and uh so that's what i'm doing all right so there we got it so now you know why i wanted the white wheel on the outside either had the white wheel on the outside or turn the front one gray and i you know just trying to keep this i don't know i just like the white wheels on this one because of the white stickers i guess one mistake i made and i should have caught this is that stud wasn't long enough got three sticking out that wasn't long enough so uh, I need to go back and replace that sometime. I got other stuff. I got a long one in there. I just, I don't know, grabbed the wrong one, I guess. Now that white looks good. Um, so <clears throat> I'm gonna drive it around a little bit. It'll probably be fine with three since it's not really gonna do a whole lot of work or whatever, but that's that. So that is two different ways of doing dualies later i'm just getting tired late in the afternoon feels good out there though. i like those wheel spacers over there on the other jeep mower i might get the thicker ones so i like i like doing this and i got a couple extra sets of wheels too uh, to do that with and the problem is you gotta have wheels right to do doolies anyway i'm out Yeah, I'm doing the other side. But look, best tool ever made, three quarter inch for that. So you just don't have to, you know, you can just zip, 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 zip. Thought I'd show that to you. Good tool. I'm gonna finish and do one final video. If you had to open ended, you just couldn't do this. Take a lot longer. All right, just want to show that. All right, there you go. Like I say, these wheel weights are not the best thing going. They're not the best thing going because, or well, the plastic ones anyway. The plastic ones will give because that, that concrete inside will crack. And, um, and then it won't be a stout. Now, I got some uh, steel, I guess they're steel, wheel weights in there. They're smaller, but I could double them up. That might be what I need to start doing. 
that might be the next thing to try. But right now, these look good. This is a test. I mean, I normally wouldn't do it like that because I got two separate kind of tires and all that. And that's just kind of weird to me. Um, but I just wanted to do it. Had them on do it. Well, I had those spacers over there on the uh, Jeep mower. Let's see, it's all white, white on white. So I like that. Let's see what they look like. Okay, that's all. Um, but one last thing. You're gonna do it, make sure your deck wheels are not in the way. Like on some of mine out here, they would be in the way and I just that can't do it. Or I have to unmount the deck wheel. So it's, uh, it's only like an inch, inch and a half clearance on that and on this. So, so they're fine. All right, I'm out. I believe it's coming.